However, that summer, it was Matt Hardy who was forced out of action due to a knee injury. What transpired during his absence would change the lives and careers of Hardy, Edge, and Lita forever. I had a torn ACL in my left knee. It had been real bad and it had been bothering me for a while. I had to go away and get it fixed. Lita on the road now that she was by herself. She didn't like traveling alone. She didn't get along with the other divas too well. She said, Edge is riding on his own this weekend. She said, you know, and I was going to be riding alone. She said, is that cool with you if I just hop in with him? And I was like, yeah, sure, that's, that's fine. Because I was so close with both him and Christian. You know, I would have trusted him completely. So Matt was home with an injury. I was on the road. I was traveling by myself. Edge was traveling by himself. We started traveling together a lot. And we'd always been you know, great friends. You know, she was always my best female friend. Adam and I were always close, but having these eight hour conversations, driving you know, on the road, and really realizing we had a lot more in common other than neck surgery, other than wrestling, other than some surface stuff that we had a, a, a lot in common. The friendship between Edge and Lita would evolve into a secret romance but their affair would soon come to light. There was a week where she was acting really, really odd. I woke up one night and just couldn't sleep, and just there was like a glare, a reflection, and it was of her phone, it was in her purse. I saw it, and it caught my attention. I pulled her phone out, and I listened to her voicemail, and there was a message from Edge, and the message said, hey, it's me, and you know, I just, this is killing me. I can't go without talking to you. If you're gonna stay with Matt and not be with me, then I'm, I'm lost, and I don't know what I'm gonna do, and I love you. I just want you to know that I, I, I love you. If you can only imagine the way I felt, you know, at that point hearing that message, because that's all, that's all, you know, at this point, that's all I knew. I'd heard a guy who's like one of my closest friends had just called my girlfriend who I was ready to marry at this juncture, you know, who I wanted to spend the rest of my life with, you know, leaving a voicemail saying, I love you. You know, you can beat this or whatever, but I freaked the f out, you know, as most, any normal guy would. And she was breaking out, crying, trying to explain. And I was throwing stuff. I told her, I said, just get out of my house. Leave, get out of my house. The first thing I did was call Adam, you know, and like leave a voicemail. You know, I was making threats, I was cussing, I was going crazy. He sent the voicemail to me, so I got to hear it. His reactions were very real. Keep in mind, betrayal never comes from an enemy. Betrayal always comes from a friend, and that's what hurts the worst. When I heard those messages of like him saying that he loves it, it made me sick, man. It, like he was a punk for doing what he did, and especially when it involves one of your good, supposedly good friends. Getting to where it did, my whole idea of it, and, and I think Amy's idea of it was, wow, we screwed up. I don't regret that this happened, but I regret how it happened. The manner in which we went about it was completely hurtful and wrong and all you can do is is apologize and grow and learn from it matt hardy and lita's relationship was over 